please uh, my tips on how to plan your own bridal oh my child is crying in the background Yo. here we are again <laughs> hi guys welcome back to all things natala by australia uh, if you are returning thank you so much for joining us once more uh, for all those new viewers thank you for tuning in and just don't forget to subscribe please <laughs> yes please subscribe uh, do like share and comment down below so I feel like we really need to interact in the comments so please don't forget to comment yes uh, as as I promised you guys a few months ago or weeks ago I did say that I was gonna give you guys um, my tips on how to successfully plan your own bridal shower yes so let's get into it so like most of you may know uh i did plan my own bridal shower yes i'm the type of bride um for those that are newly engaged or are planning on you know taking this path like i did uh congrats congrats yes uh, first things first before we start um, you need to ask yourself two things first are you going to be the hands-on bride or the one that sort of like delegates in my case I was the one I was the hands-on bride. Hands bride let me not let me not lie <laughs> now that I think about it I was more of the the delegating type of bride I delegated uh, thank goodness I had a very good uh, maid of honor I had two maid of honors by the way and one of my maid of honors Namo and I were the ones that were actually hands-on with the planning so what I did was I delegated all the tasks to her and she successfully pulled it off yes um, the second thing that I wanted to say was that know what you want you need to know what you want it is very important for you to know what you want because that eliminates all the stuff that can interfere with you successfully or pulling this off so you need to know what you want and be and, and be very very adamant as to how you want things done uh, not to forget the very 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 most important thing get a pinterest board a pinterest board will really help you to make things easier as you plan along so get a pinterest board very very much important just to spark those ideas so let's get to tip tip number one get a theme um a theme is very much important because at the end of the day i, I feel like a theme is what brings the event to life is what brings the event to life so get a proper theme like i previously mentioned when you have a, a pinterest board it really gives you some inspiration so get a proper theme um we there are times where we actually say theme or color scheme i feel like those things are used interchangeably or maybe that's just me i don't know so you can decide do you want a theme theme or are you gonna go for a color scheme a color scheme basically just means you choosing a color palette that you want to work with and then that will be like the theme or alternatively you can go for a theme like in my case I went for an autumn theme and of course the autumn theme has to also coordinate with a specific color palette like what I did so just choose a theme I've, I've not I've, I've noticed that a lot of times you find that um, people would rather go for an all white type of uh, bridal shower but now things have also changed a lot of things have changed and current brides are very very much creative and like things are just on par now especially in Namibia like I'm so proud with how the events um, industry is like is like where it's going right now we have so many women out there like creative people like you you would be surprised so you can go for a color scheme you can go for you know a, a different type of theme it depends how it depends on the type of bride you are if you're trendy of course you'll have to go with the trends you know just see what is trending and see what to go with it all depends on on on, on what you're vibing with just select a theme that really goes well with your personality very very much important because at the end of the day the theme is what makes the party alive tip number two your vendors you need to already know the type of vendors that you want to work with 
for your bridal shower ideally oh before i, I continue the vendors that i'm i'm very when i say vendors i'm actually referring to the makeup artist the hairstylist the tailor or the designer the photographer the deco person uh, i hope i'm not forgetting anyone yes those are your even the caterer yes even the caterer those are your vendors so you need to already know who you are working with there's tons of quite uh, qualified people in this country especially in Namibia, that you can work with quite a selection a variety there's so many people that you can work with and mind like you literally will not have any issues trying to get the best vendors i can't name them of course but there's quite a lot that are very very good so that's not an issue uh ideally uh i would suggest or i would uh, advise that you use the same vendors that you are to use for the actual wedding for your bridal shower uh, why i'm saying this is because many a times we, we we sometimes book vendors for the actual day uh and some vendors don't really give you like um i don't know what to call it like a free trial of of their service or the type of service they're going to provide in, what I mean by this is that um, you might book a makeup artist. I'm not saying all of them are like this, but I'm just saying some. You might book a makeup artist, but they they don't do trials on you. I don't, I'm not even sure if they call them trials. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if they call them trials, but they don't do like a pre like a pre demo before the actual day. You know, like doing your you know like for makeup artists for like for a makeup artist they would like you know do your makeup before the actual day just to see if you actually like the work you know or for uh, a deco person they don't do like a demo setup or it or maybe it would or let me you know what maybe this will depend from client to vendor it, it depends but some some actually don't do this so to be on the safe side rather try to book the same people that you're going to work with on the big day just to kind of like test them out if that if, if you can call it that yeah i'm just saying yeah but to each their own if you don't it's still fine but i like for me in my case the makeup artist that i booked for the wedding uh was the same one that i used for the engagement and for the bridal shower same thing with the tailor the one that did my engagement engagement um engagement uh, uh dress and one that's gonna do my 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 reception dress i used her for my bridal shower it's a preference i guess it is a preference so to each their own yeah so rather select get get your best vendors and you can actually have two 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 two, two options for each type of for each vendor just in case you don't get the other one so now tip number three has to do with the dress code um the dress code actually coordinates has to coordinate with the theme make sure that the invited guests are given a specific are given the dress code which will of course coordinate with your specific theme tip number four venue um you need to select a venue that is going to coordinate or that's going to go well with the type of theme that you want to have for your bridal shower so the venue you need to decide on the type of venue that you want do you want something outdoorsy or something indoor yes uh, most of the time what we do is we we rather go for a restaurant or we go to a guest house or some people even do host their bridal showers like at their own private residence i mean it all depends on what you want and the type of theme that you have you know so you need to sell you need to decide on which of the two which of the three you actually want so yeah decide on the type of venue that you want like in my case i'll always reference what i did i'm going to reference what i did i had an outdoor type of setting uh it was a thrombos i will link the video down below or somewhere up there uh it was a thrombos um i had a autumn theme and of course the autumn theme will only go well with an outdoor setting so sometimes the venue or let me say the theme can determine the type of venue that you're gonna go for so those two need to coordinate so be very very uh mindful as to the type of venue that you're gonna go for tip number five 
the date. Make sure that um, you choose a date that can accommodate or that is flexible for both you, your guests, and your bridesmaids or whoever is going to be involved. So ideally, you would want to discuss the date with your bridesmaids before you actually send out the invitations to your guests. So get a proper date and normally what we do, especially in Namibia, uh, bridal showers are hosted a month before the wedding. So for instance, if your wedding is in December, you will have your bridal shower in November. Okay, so just make sure that you select a date that is flexible and that can accommodate both you, your bridesmaids and your guests. And be very, be very, very mindful of the financial implications as well. Remember that when you select your date, make sure that you choose a date that, that a date whereby your guests and your bridesmaids will have the financial means to support you should they attend your bridal shop. Tip number six, your guests. When you're selecting your, or when you're drawing up your guest list, of course, you would want to have not more than 50, I'm assuming, because 50 is just too many. Uh, have a guest list, uh, know who to invite and who not to invite. Um, I did pick, that. there was something that I picked up on, on Pinterest where um, it, 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 it was actually like, it was more like a quiz where you have to ask yourself, where you had to ask yourself, like I think six questions as to whether this specific person should be invited or not. So one of the questions was, uh, have you spoken to this person in the last year? Have you hung out with this person outside of work? Uh, have they met your fiance? Uh, and so forth. And based on the answer that you give, it will direct you to the final answer as to whether you should invite this person or not. So in my case, um, that is what I did. I followed that. <laughs> I did follow that. But of course, with some exceptions like family members, yes. Yeah, I did follow that. And it was, yeah, it, it worked for me. It, it, it really worked out for me very well. Yeah, I was also very intentional. Be very intentional also with your guests. Know who to invite and who not to invite. Because there are people out there that really cry for invitations. They want to be invited to certain events. But they just don't show up when they're invited. Maybe that's just a personal thing. I don't know. Yes. So draw up a guest list. Know who to invite and who not to invite. Um, In my case, uh, with the guest list that I had drawn up, because the wedding is in the north, uh, I was very mindful or con I was consider considering the fact that some people might not be able to travel that long distance. So what I did was, because there are people that I knew that were not going to travel that far, those were the people that I considered or those were the people that I actually wanted to be present at the bridal shower. I was very considerate. Yes. So because of that, I drew up my guest list knowing that this person will not be able to attend my wedding, but they will be able to attend this event to celebrate me. That's how I drew up my guest list. And yes, it turned, that's, yeah, that's just how it was. Yes, so have a proper guest list. You don't have to invite, you don't have to invite everybody. Not everybody deserves an invitation. Just to be honest, not everybody. And also, don't be scared of people having, you know, catching feelings as to you didn't invite me. No, trust me. People hardly care about stuff like this anymore because of the financial implications that are involved. So you don't have to worry. Just select or choose the people that you really want to be there at your shower because it is your day. You need to be celebrated. You need love and good positive energy. So don't worry about what don't worry about what people say have the proper have the people that you want at your shower to celebrate you that is the most important thing at the end of the day they can attend the wedding if they want to so, so don't worry about that because i know that is something that is very causes a lot of issues with people especially among family members so don't worry just select the ones that you feel deserve or should be at the shower to celebrate you after all it is your day yes Tip number seven, the invitation. Yes, um, like I said previously, uh, bridal showers are hosted a month before the wedding. 
so in this case you will have to send out your invitations a month before the bridal shower which means two months before the wedding so if you're getting married in december that means your invitation should be sent out october now by october i'm not saying october like mid-october i'm talking about beginning of october send out your invitations as early as possible because people need to prepare themselves financially okay because remember these are the people that need to attend your wedding as well some of them now also there are gifts involved there are contributions involved now in some cases now if you if you're gonna have your guests to contribute contributions um the attire that they need to wear the dress you know people need to get their outfits in order they also need to do their makeup their hair like the whole the whole lot they need to prepare themselves financially so send out an invitation at least two months even three months before for them to prepare themselves well and and then you're good to go yes uh i will give you i will tell you how i did my invitations uh normally especially in namibia people just add you to a whatsapp group without even notifying you without even informing you or asking you for permission you get added onto a whatsapp group then you're told that it's maria's bridal shower and mind you maria and i are not even talking we're not even friends anymore or we haven't spoken in a long time and i'm i'm added to a whatsapp group for her bridal shower you know it, it creates it, it just becomes awkward and it just it, it's, it's just not good i hope that that's not how things are done now but i know in the past that's how things used to be done so to avoid this what i did was my what i did was um i of course worked with my with, with one of my maid of honors namu so what we did was we we composed a message which was to be sent out to the the invited guests now i think i had about i think i had about 20 20 guests on that list so what we did was we sent out this text to each and every one of them which basically just uh had which basically just uh states that uh you're cordially invited to Ndakala's bridal shower uh should on this specific date should you uh, be available on this specific date uh, do confirm or do rsvp by following the link whereby you will be provided with more information so now that link is a link to a whatsapp group and that's where all the info will be given so if you were to receive this message if you were interested or if you were to call if you're interested into if you were interested in attending this bridal shower you would confirm or rsvp by following the link so if you join the if you join that whatsapp group it basically means that you have confirmed and that you've rsvp and that you will attend the bridal shower from the 20 that um from the guests that i that, that i had given my maid of honor to send the the, the invitation to I, I i think maybe three or four that couldn't um that couldn't join the group simply because they were not available for that day or they just went there was one that was just not interested they just kept quiet not even a thank you not even a, a like nothing they just kept quiet you see those are the things now so those that were interested followed the link they joined the group and more info was provided yes so you join the group at your own will so that is how my invitation was done uh, i will also give you just a little peek of how my invitation was yes tip number eight gift registry yeah uh once like in my case once you've invited all your guests and they've confirmed and rsvp'd then you can provide them with your gift registry i had a registry at mr price um i had a, a bunch of items that i wanted uh like i mentioned previously in my previous video i was very intentional with my registry because i was busy building my compound is yes, in it was not furnished so i needed just some basic stuff just to furnish the place yeah so it all depends on what you want so be specific with what you want with on your registry you can go all out because at the end of the day they're not gonna buy everything on that registry anyway 
<laughs> i'm just saying they're not gonna buy everything so just go all out select whatever you want but also again be mindful and be considerate because you don't want to also have expensive things on your registry or maybe it will depend on the type of friends you have again yes but go all out like i said so have a gift registry very important um i i did not have a gift registry for the wedding uh because for some cultural reasons apparently so yeah i was told not to have one so i couldn't have so i decided i'm gonna have one for my bridal shower because i mean it is my bridal it's mine you know so yes yeah um yes be very intentional with your gifts select the things that you really want and the things that you really need go all out tip number nine your budget <laughs> yes now he's now this is where the real talk comes in now you are planning your own bridal shower where have you heard that where have you seen that <laughs> it's a joke anyway you are planning your own bridal shower right that is different you know that is very different so of course you will have to foot the bill for everything it is only fair because you're planning your own it is your own after all you don't want people to shower you you don't want people to spend money on you so do it so spend spend your own money on your own shower it's a joke no what i'm saying is that uh, have a budget when you're planning this very very important have a budget uh people a lot of people do not know that it is very expensive to host an event you'll find people that are so surprised when you tell them that a photographer will charge you 1.2 per hour then they're like what no 1.2 that's standard that's basic like that's but given my background because i'm a i i do planning yeah i'm familiar with with that environment but to be honest planning an event is not cheap it is not cheap at all uh so you need to really make sure that you have the funds to pull this off make sure that you have a proper budget um a hairstylist will cost money a photographer a good photographer will cost money a good venue will cost money a catering like everything costs money now because you nobody's now the thing is since you're planning your own shower uh maybe you might be you might be lucky that you might have bridesmaids or maybe your fiance or maybe some relatives might be able to you know to give to render their support financially uh if that happens kudos good for you if not be very much prepared to foot the bill on your own okay and also you don't also want your guests to be paying for the bridal shower like i just don't see why people charge guests or make guests to pay i i still i i don't see the logic in that like why well, you're inviting me to an event yet you want me to pay for it no i don't see that but i will be honest in my case i had my guests pay a small fee which was which i was against i was totally against it because remember these people are buying your gifts they are also trying to get an outfit to look hot for you they have to do their hair and makeup like and they also need to attend the wedding so really i just feel like it's just too much to be honest i feel like it's too much and i did not want that but the circumstances that i was facing did not it just they just had to which i was i was not happy about it but they just had to but it was a small fee which still i'm against it but it was a small fee but yeah yeah it is what it is but i just feel like you should not make your guests to pay if you're inviting them honestly it's it's i don't think it's fair i don't think it's fair i feel like if you're planning your own shower in this case you just need to you just need to make means find means to to cover all the costs be it your bridesmaids be it your fiance be it your i don't know just just do that I, I just feel like it, it's only fair if it was the other way around where people are showering you with you know hosting or like planning for you then yeah that's another thing where people have to you know chip in and and, and, and you know but in this case you're doing your own stuff on your own terms so yeah 
don't don't make your guests pay please unless maybe they are paying for their own drinks yes that's another story but please don't do that yeah uh just have a proper budget guys uh things are not cheap you will not find a photographer my earring anyway you will not find a photographer that will charge you 400 dollars per hour like a good photographer now like it's very rare so plus minus 800 to a thousand to that that will be that will be your your fee for a photographer and that's just a photographer eh? for an hour for an hour you still have your makeup artist you still have your caterer it's a lot so be very very much prepared financially it will not be easy because you also have a wedding to plan so if you're gonna take this route you gotta really think carefully about it but at the end of the day you only have one bridal shower you also don't want something average you want to be happy at the end of the day so do what you gotta do to make yourself happy that's the most important thing so yes guys that was the end of my tips on how to plan your own bridal shower if you like this video please thumbs it up uh do comment please guys I, I it will be nice to actually engage with you in the comments so let me know what you think if you have also some tips that i might have missed please do include them uh yeah uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh i'll see you guys next time Ciao.